In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, what are the different kinds of nonfiction books or informational books? Yesterday, we talked about the different types of fiction books that some of you might be reading. These are books that are not real, have story talk, are read to be enjoyed, meant to be read in order from page one until the end, sometimes have illustrations. They have a beginning, middle, and end. They have characters and setting, and a problem and solution. Books that contain true information are called nonfiction books, and these books can also be categorized into genres. Today we are going to talk about the opposite side of this chart, the nonfiction side. These are books that contain true information. They are real. They have fact talk. We read them to learn and to find out stuff. We read them in any order, sometimes only a few pages if it is just for research. Nonfiction books have photos, charts, and graphs. They have a table of contents. Sometimes they have an index, glossary, bold words, labels, headers, and captions with true information or directions. And these books can also be categorized or, or organized into genres. Nonfiction includes books on maps, penguins, frogs, sharks, and the human body, as well as birds. Historical events like the Great London Fire, the Gunpowder Plot, Ancient Egypt, life cycles like the life cycle of a butterfly. Nonfiction books include the books on planets and weather and bears. Dictionaries with words and the meanings of words are also nonfiction books. Atlases that show maps and places around the world are nonfiction books, and books that explain photos of our solar system and other galaxies are nonfiction books. Nonfiction books are true stories and usually give us true information. Some characteristics of nonfiction books include contains honest and true information, broken into parts that can be understood, includes facts, illustrations, graphs that are accurate and up-to-date, summary statements are supported with details, and information is presented clearly. We use the word genre to refer to a specific type of book. Just like fiction, nonfiction books can be categorized based on more detailed characteristics that they share. For example, informational texts could include science, history, geography, math, art, and sports. Biography are texts that tell about people's lives. If a person is telling a story about his or her life, it's called an autobiography. And if an author tells about some memories or certain experiences in his or her life, it's called a memoir. And also magazines, atlases, and encyclopedias are considered informational type of books or this nonfiction type of books. Now let's have a nonfiction brainstorm. This can either be an activity that you do now or you do later in book clubs and do as a discussion activity. Either way, here are the directions. Have students sit in groups of three to four with a marker and chart paper. First, brainstorm together the types of genres for informational texts. For example, sports, animals, biographies, etc. And then take turns listing the categories you think of under the heading informational texts. When you come all back together as all the groups, the whole class will discuss what they decided on their brainstorm charts, and then the class can put together one whole big chart with everyone's brainstorming ideas together with the types of genres inside of nonfiction. Today's read aloud will be a teacher selected nonfiction text from your school's library. Your teacher will read aloud an interesting portion of this nonfiction book aloud and give a brief book talk. As a class, think aloud as the teacher reads a section of the book, placing post it notes where the teacher or students have a thought or idea. Today, while we are doing our independent reading, let's focus on making predictions with our think marks. What will happen next in the chapter or the book? What is making you think this? 
Fill up your think mark with four predictions while you read and share them with your book club during discussion time. Today you will have 30 minutes of independent reading time as we are building more reading stamina. Our book club discussion question will focus around what predictions did you make while you read today. Finally, don't forget to record what you read today on your reading log.